today. It's direct to draw. I think we have enough people in here. We're ready to get started. So don't forget you're going to need your piece of paper. Thanks for the like button. Oh, Kara. Oh my gosh. Kara's here with Kate and Caroline. I cannot believe how big your kiddos are getting. I'm so excited you guys are here and I cannot wait to see your picture. So you guys don't forget you need a piece of paper and a black marker or a black um, crayon works the best. Crayon, dad. Crayon. Um, and so when you're done, don't forget you will also need your Crayola crayons so that you can color in your picture. Okay? So, here we go. Step numero one. We have 13, 15-ish steps today because we have a lot of things to follow. So, here we go. Step number one. Your paper needs to be up and down, okay? Just like we've talked about the last few draws. We aren't turning it anything different. So it's gonna sit in front of you just like this so that you're looking at it up and down. And you're gonna draw two lines that are pretty far apart and almost as big as your paper, okay? Let me try and make sure this is stuck on there real good. So you've got two lines side by side and it pretty much is the whole length of your paper, okay? All right, so after you've done step number one, don't forget you're guessing what you think I'm drawing and what we're gonna be drawing today. So if you guys have guesses, shoot them out here and give them to me while we're drawing because you get a prize if you get it right, which is awesome. So you've got your two lines. Now this next step is really, really important because it's part of really what's gonna make this look like what we're drawing, okay? So watch me do the first one so that you guys can see um, what you need it to make it look like. So we're going to kind of make it look like it's going to be flat on top and it's going to curve towards the bottom. All right. And then the bottom is going to do the exact same thing. So it's kind of, it's a rectangle, but it's got curvy edges. All right. You guys see that? My edges would be a little straighter, but I've got this fun decorations for, you know, summer on here. So now you've got your kind of tater tot shaped thing, all right? So that's our first and second step. Our third step, kind of in the middle of your weird little rectangle triangle guy, not triangle, square guy. You guys are gonna draw a line across, okay? And it's kind of a curved line. It's not a completely straight line, but he's gonna go right through the middle. Ooh, Ruby is guessing that it's SpongeBob. That's a very good guess because he is SpongeBob shaped. I'm going to let that one float out there and you guys find out. Okay. Okay. So Hope has her whole crew. They are in the car watching. They're not drawing yet, but some of them, they're like learning, which I've learned a lot of you kids. Watch me draw it, draw it with me, and then you run away and you go perfect it before you let your parents take a picture, which is totally awesome because that's exactly how Cammie does it because she wants to make sure her best work is what is being submitted, which I love. So we've got our third step, our line in the middle, our fourth step, and eventually I'm going to lose count of what step we're on. We're like, 57 step. You're going to draw a line right here in the middle, okay? Kind of like. A, a straight line right underneath okay so you've gotten your two lines you made your little tater top shape so step number five okay down here I want to put those four sticks okay remember kind of how we made feet and legs and things like that so down here and then you're just gonna arch those out like your little half rainbow you know how we've talked about that and you're gonna kinda of make that foot shape right there. Okay. Alrighty. So now you've got two little feeties on whatever you think this might be that we're drawing right now. Who knows? Any guesses? I have no idea. Okay, so step number six. You guys are going to take this piece right here and you're gonna make it. Big and wide, just like that. Okay? Big and wide, just like that. Okay? Step number seven. Any guesses yet? Does anybody have anything other than SpongeBob before I go on? Mm. Okay, let's keep going. All right, on the sides of this little 
thing that we're drawing. I'm going to kind of put these little boxes, kind of half squares that are actually a full rectangle shape. Okay. Aunt Kelsey has guessed a piece of toast. I don't know what toast you're eating, Kelsey, but whoo, <gasps> Devaney, I hope I'm saying her name right. She guessed it. It is going to be um, that. I'm not going to announce it to everybody who isn't reading, but yes, Devaney has gotten it right. I'm not going to tell everybody else until we pretty much get to the step that I will, I know was like, Ooh, this is what it is. Uncle Sean says it's the mini wheat cereal guy. And my mother says it's her. This one too. I love you guys so much. Okay. So we have these squares and in the middle of them, you guys are going to put a line. Okay. So you kind of just chopped them in half. Okay. So number, I am saying it right. Good. Devaney. It's such, I was like, I don't want to say it wrong. Okay. Devaney, you are an incredible little artist. I'm loving all of your pictures. Okay. Mm -hmm. So step number eight, you're going to make a triangle on both sides. And I made mine right where that like square was. Okay. You guys see that? And then you're going to make a bigger triangle over that one okay and those are to be his arms like you guys can't see but his arms are sitting on his hips all right that was step number eight so you guys have done so many steps already i bet without even realizing it lindsay says it's captain underpants you're so cute Lindsay. who guessed that someone in your car all right step number nine this is one of the bigger steps that i think you guys will go that's what it is so in the middle of this big empty space, you guys can see me making the shape. You guys are going to draw a big circle. And I've told you guys we're practicing circles because they're super hard and I have a draw coming up that I've already planned, one of my favorite, 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 favorite things. Um, but we need to be good at our circles. So I want you guys to keep practicing those because I cannot wait. And when I see you guys turn in your pictures, when you guys have your parents take a picture and they post it for me and I tell you, oh my gosh, you're amazing or whatever, because everybody I talk to, um, I can see those circles. So I'm going to be able to tell when we're ready to do my all time, big time favorite thing. So after you draw this circle, you're going to draw another circle inside and try to keep them close together. Okay. You don't want them to be a lot of space between them. And I know sometimes this can be frustrating and hard, but it's helping us with our pencil grasp. This is going to help us um, when we're writing at school. So these kinds of things that we're practicing and having fun with really help us. Okay. So number, I believe 10 is where we are. All right. We are going to put two little lines that are coming off of that circle. Okay. You guys see that? And then you're going to draw two more lines on the other side. All right. Now, in case you haven't guessed it yet, or you didn't go, oh, my parents read out loud what Devaney guessed, we are drawing a minion today because they are funny. And um, we've been watching the Minions movie because it's in Netflix right now, which is totally awesome. And what's a minion's favorite thing to eat? Bananas. And we've had bananas, and that's how we say banana all the time okay so now you guys should have your two lines out to the side after that you're going to do a big circle inside what is his goggle okay and remember i like to leave a little white space in my eyeball and then you guys are going to color this whole thing in this black part you're not going to color in that little white piece and if you don't have that little white piece that's fine you can have a whole black or purple or whatever color you guys are using to color with eyeball all right and of course I'm gonna make sure I color in all the white places because that's the rules we don't have a lot of rules of indirected draw the main one we have is make sure you cover all the white spaces unless it's supposed to be white like this part of his eyeball is supposed to be white so we're gonna leave that there okay so now you guys know we're drawing a minion there's lots of different minions. They have names and different things. This particular minion that we are drawing is Carl. Carl has one eye. And my favorite thing about minion hair is hair that pokes up. So you guys are gonna just draw like 12 or 15, however many you want, little spiky hairs. I've got some short and some long. 
but Carl has one eyeball and then Carl has spiky hair. And there's lots of different ways to draw these minions. They can have two eyeballs and no hair, or slicked up hair. They're hilarious. So we have our hair, our eyeball, all these things inside now. What's our minion missing? He's missing a smile, his handsomeness, okay? So we're gonna kind of do kind of like we did with the pirate the other day. We're gonna kind of do like a sideways smile, like a smirky smile because it's going to go up to the side just like that and then it's going to open up just like this okay and my eyeball was really big so i didn't leave a little lot of space if you want him to have a bigger smile you need to just leave more space between your eyeball and his overalls and then our minions do have teeth minions minites what would be the plural form i wonder so i'm going to draw him some teeth and that, kiddos, is a minion. It was very, very easy. After you guys figure out those basic shapes and you follow along, you should be able to draw a minion. Now, I, like I said, know that minions love bananas. So my guy has some little dream clouds up here. And I just did some poofies. And then he's dreaming of bananas. And he loves them. So that's what I added in my background. Now don't forget the rule after you've drawn your picture is that you are supposed to color it and then have whoever it is that you're drawing with see if they will post the picture so that I can see it but make it look like what we're drawing. That's the thing. That's our goal is so we want me able to pe for people to look at it and go hey look what I drew and they go oh my gosh that's a minion and they're gonna know because you guys are incredible artists and you guys have been doing so, so good and having so, so much fun. So here's Carl. He's dreaming of his bananas and he's super excited to see what you guys come up with. Um, and like I said, don't forget to color in even this background space. And mommies and daddies and babysitters and aunts and uncles, the cool thing about that is that it's pretty quiet, time consuming activity. Um, and the kids take a lot of pride in what they're working on. And so, Please make sure and post their pictures when they're completed so that we can give them the kudos and we can add them to our gallery. Um, today's hashtags for our picture are, don't forget they're always I drew with Kylie and hashtag banana um, because we drew a minion today. So guys, don't forget that when you post this, you can hashtag it, you can share it with me, you can share it on this page. And I appreciate everybody who came today and I cannot wait to see your work. Last thing, please pass it along. Pass the video along to a cousin or a friend and let's grow our gallery. You guys have a great day and I'll see you Saturday at three. All right, bye.